What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear. Because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, kind of got a different orientation going on with the camera because I uh, want to do a go over of this 511 push pack. I kind of did a long time ago, but it wasn't really in depth or anything. But I was talking to uh, EDC question mark A, and she had mentioned in a comment conversation that we were having that I should go over this and what I have in it, and I figured I would. So, this is the 511 push pack. It is a messenger style carry bag, as you can see. It has these uh, Velcro straps on the back. This is a um, padded uh, shoulder rest guard type thing. And you can move it around, um, you know, adjust it to how you want it, put it to where you want it to go. And it does have some uh, spacing right here, like a molly strap right there on that. If you wanted to stick something in there, you could, I suppose. Um, it also has this guard of this actually uh, supposed to like cover the straps, but whatever. It's just it moves around kind of. It does have a, um, <coughs> a heavy duty latch right here, uh, clip. Um, it's weird though because it unclips from there, but not from here. So I mean, I don't see why you would unclip it. Just you put it on there, and that's it. You leave it, and that's about all you can do with it. Seriously, it's kind of weird. So this does have like two faux leather, like. Uh, guards or something right there. It is padded um, with this uh, kind of hex pattern or dot pattern so it can breathe and um, it's pretty solid actually. I like it. And like I said, it's a messenger carry. And if you look at the front of it, when you put the strap up over your shoulder, it has molly strapping here. Um, there's a bunch of molly straps. One, two, three, four, five molly straps if you want to put something in there. And then also where the strap goes in, there's kind of a little slot right there. So if you really wanted to, you could stick something in there and, you know, whatever, make sure it didn't fall out. It really wouldn't because once it's up in the air like this, like, you know what I mean, you're good, it's not going to come out. Same thing with this side, it has the uh, little space where the strap goes in right there and you can put something. And then it has a hook and loop right here for a uh, morale patch or if you want to put ranger eyes or something, I just got the Omni Huckleberry patch on there because, you know, Doc Holiday and all of that. Um, and as far as the front of it goes, it has another hook and loop patch right here where you can put range drive or morale patches. Um, it's a 5 one pushback, 6 liter it is actually. Um, it does have two extendable pockets. You can put water um, bottles in here if you wanted to. I don't. I use it for gear. But um, A did ask me if it fit a 32 ounce analogy in, and I have a few, so I did put it in here, and it does fit that. So there's one on either side. Um, and then it has a few pouches uh, in the back here. It has a CCW pouch, which I made into a medical kit. I do not, um, I get that, you know, you can still carry in your bag, but then it's in your bag. Unless you have your bag with you at all times, it's kind of useless. So I made it into a medical um, kit, a trauma kit, actually. And it has a little pouch right here, and then another one right there, and then the main pouch inside. So also on the back of it, as you can see, it is padded just like the shoulder strap is with this material. Um, and you know, so it rests against your back, and then it has this belt. If you want to attach this to your belt, which would be an absolute pain in the ass because you'd never be able to get it off <laughs> because it'd be behind you. And if you could even attach it, it would be a miracle. You'd have to have somebody else do it, right? Like if you wanted to run with it or something. But a lot of times you could swing it around in the front and carry it like this, too. So I mostly carry it over my right shoulder, like you know, like that. You put it over your shoulder like this and carry it, but also I carry it like this as well because I carry my medical um, jump bag on my back when I have that, I just can carry it in front, so, um, just to get around. So that's the strapping system, the vets, the padding, and you know what, it's pretty good. So I'm not going to, oh, uh, I'm not going to go into, I don't know if these are YKK zippers, I don't think they are, I just think they're some proprietary zipper the 511 has, um, they're not labeled, they just have uh, the zipper pulls on them to have a uh, 511 logo, so that's what those have, all of them do, so let's pull that one out of this one. And this, and then on the sides they have this uh, kind of PVC thing going on. These are YKK, actually, I believe. Yeah, those are YKK, but this one here doesn't say that. So they they probably all are. So the ones on the sides are YKK, and they have this uh, dual like zipper action going on, and there's a piece of PVC connecting them um, so you can pull them down at the same time. So that's pretty cool. So back here is where that CCW pouch is. And in this, like I said, I'm not going to pull all this out because it's just medical supplies and I'm not going to bore you with all of that stuff. But if you look in there, you're going to fit a ton of stuff in here. 
and I already have a ton of stuff in here, seriously, and I can get a ton, eh, not a ton more, but I can get some more stuff in here, I just don't, don't want to overpack it, and then, you know what I mean, it's bulging out, but just some stuff that I have in here, uh, I have some gloves, I have a 18-inch uh, uh, pressure bandage, uh, H bandage in there, I got some combat medic tape, um, I have everything I need for a trauma kit in here, oops, caught that, <laughs> everything I need for a trauma kit inside there, um, Basically, I got airway management, I got uh, chest seals, I have uh, a way to stop bleeding, so there's a ton of stuff in there, and I just decided to make it into a trauma kit, that way if I don't have my medical bag with me, which I don't all the time, I still have this, and I can do basically what I can do with that, just on a smaller level, but there is quite a few things in here um, for a trauma situation. I have, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff, I have burn gel, um, it's basically... Um, span gel, so if you had somebody got burned, I could put that on top of them, basically over the wound. Um, I have a high, let's see, I have a uh, transcend glucose, in case somebody's hyperglycemic, hyperglycemic, hypoglycemic, not hyper, hypoglycemic. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's what the back I use for, but it is CCW pouch, supposedly, and you can fit a ton of stuff in there, so that's what I do. So that in the back is my trauma kit. Now, I just went over this a little bit yesterday, but on this top pouch right here, um, let's see. so in this top pouch, we open it up right there, if you can see, there's that top pouch, and it's actually pretty decent, I mean, I got uh, the spork in here, it's got the knife that comes with it, these just kind of lock together, and uh, I'll go over that uh, real quick, these are at Walmart, and they're not very expensive, I forget how much they are, like $3 maybe, so it comes with this, you know, like elastic cordage, um, and then take it apart, you got a knife, and you have a fork and a spoon, so it's actually surprisingly sharp for a plastic knife, so it's pretty cool, because like I said, I always forget my utensils, and I've gone away, we go away a lot, and um, I have ordered food, and they never gave us utensils, so I had to kind of just eat it with my knife one time, <laughs> like, which is not ideal. You know what I mean? So, but it works. So I have that in there. Um, then I did one over this yesterday. I have a hobo knife in there, the Elkridge hobo. So I have that as well. Uh, my son gave me a metal straw because I've also ordered food and got sodas and stuff and never got a straw. So I have a metal straw inside here. It's actually pretty cool. It's a rainbow one. So I have this rainbow metal straw that my son gave me. Comes with a little cleaning brush and everything, um, and a little carabiner and a hookup for that. Then I also have a P51 can opener in case I need a can opener. Um, the P38 was a smaller version, the P51 was a larger version that Cooks use. I just grabbed the P51 because it's bigger, easier to handle. Um, my grandfather used to use the 38 all the time when I was a kid, so I got one of those in there just in case I need to open a can and I don't have a can opener or a uh, scout knife with me with a can opener on it. So that is what I have in this top pouch right there. So that is that. Again, in the front there is another one right here above the hook and loop pass. That is this one, and inside there I got some, I put some Dave and Busters, <laughs> I put these in there, these wet, wet wipes, in case I gotta use them for something, got some dude wipes in there, um, got this Bob Ross tin, so inside here is a whole bunch of band-aids, ointments, and things like that, so that's that, got some more chapstick, and I have a clipper lighter in case I need to start a fire for some reason, always good to have a lighter, um, so that is what I got in there. Yeah, I carry wet wipes around because, first of all, I hate sticky fingers. <laughs> you know what I mean? And stuff like that. So if I get them from like a restaurant or something, I'm like, ooh, score. And I put them in there. And then I put this fob on here. It's just a Viking Thor's hammer uh, and a rune ring because I'm part Norse and Swedish. And so all of a sudden I'm a Viking when I got my ancestry back. <laughs> so those are the two outside pockets and what I have in them. See, now let's go over this. Um, actually. Let's just open it up and go over the inside. So you open it up inside, and that's how it opens up. You got this, again, this uh, kind of snap that goes on in there like that. You just press it together, it opens it up. And inside here, I don't know if you can see inside there. So inside there, there is um, a pocket, and there is some more, another little pocket, some webbing, and that's what's in there. So inside here, I have trauma shears, X shears. Um, more dude wipes. Not dude wipes. My wife bought me dude wipes. I have a little, uh, you know, whatever it is. It's a Bluetooth. 
it's an old school one, it goes in your ear like you're upset. So I got that one. Uh, I have a charging cable for my phone. I have a Anchor Boulder LC30 300 aluminum flat. I have a Gerber suspension multi-tool as well as a little crescent wrench back here on there with it. More inch crescent wrench in case I need that. I have a right bike nope well in case I gotta write something down and I don't have one. Have a um, solar battery charger right there. Um, I have another knife in case I need a knife, a self-defense knife and I don't have one. It's a Gerber Ghost Strike. The Gerber Ghost Strike is in there. And then I have some pens and I have another knife which is the Tucson. Um, you know what I forgot the name of this little thing man. It's got a number 2557 I think. Um, so I have that one. It's an M390. So that's what I have. And so if you can see it, I don't know, it's going to be hard to see in there. But like I said, there's a small pocket that this knife is in. And there's a spot for three pens, which I have a pen, a pen, and two markers. Um, and then there's a, um, basically a, uh, a mesh netting right there. And then you have your main pocket, which is, you know, where all this other stuff is in there. And um, then you have... I'm just going to put all this stuff back, so bear with me for that. Um, then you have um, another, there is another pouch in the front actually that I'm going to, before I put that back in there, I'll take stuff out. So I have this uh, compression bandage in the front, I have some EMS gauze, quick cloth, hemostatic agent right there, and then I have a Slushman pressure wrap, so that's a tourniquet. So I have these in the front because even though I have the stuff in the back for the trauma kit, I might need to you know, get it something faster. So I put this stuff right here because all I got to do is pop it open and grab that stuff because that stuff is literally right there in the front and I can just take that stuff with me and, you know, grab it when I need it in a situation if I need, you know, if it's a, you know, okay, I need it right now in a situation, um, then I can grab that and I'm good to go. And, uh, yeah, that's cool. So it's funny how you can always take this stuff out but you can never get this stuff back in here. So that's, hilarious <laughs> right so that's what I got going on in that pocket and like I said there's uh, you can see where the pens are and then like the mesh netting goes across and I have it set up with uh, the uh, the battery chargers in there and then so you can get a lot of stuff in the front right there so and then on the sides well first of all in the front here there's two uh, sets of molly straps so there's one two one two I have a tactical pen here and then I have another flashlight. This is a flashlight I did a review on the um, Energizer flashlight. So 140 lumens. So it's pretty decent. That's right there. And then on the side, you pull down, and then it's all closed as well. So and you pull that out. So <laughs> I got this in my bag. I'm gonna say, what is that? So it's a smoke grenade, right? Black smoke. So I think it's crazy, dude, carrying around a smoke grenade. But um, in facilities like hospitals and stuff, it's a federal facility. You're not supposed to carry firearms. So, you know, if an active shooter comes and you pop smoke, fucking dude's going to be like, what? Like, you can use it as a distraction if you don't have a firearm on you. Um, so, times we live in, you know what I mean? You can uh, do that, people can get away, or they can see a fat guy running out of the smoke at him with a knife. So, <laughs> either way, you got to do what you got to do. So, I carry that smoke grenade just in case. You never know. Things happen. It's crazy. I got Narcan in here, two of them, and I think that's all I got on that side. Narcan's a pain in the butt to get in here. So, yeah, but it opens up really far, and you can get Nalgene's in here, and, you know, obviously I got smoke grenade in there. So, that's what I got on that side. Um, sign of the times. Real weird stuff going on. Um, other side. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, other side, I got a, a poncho, in case I need a rain poncho. I got this little uh, ratchet and bit driver set for knife maintenance. I also added a extender. So this is all magnetic and this is magnetic as well. So that's pretty cool. I got that on Amazon for like 13 bucks. Wasted beer money. Eric pointed it out to me. And it's actually pretty cool. Got some uh, little UST towels, expandable towels there in case you need those or something. Got some carabiner. I got more than one carabiner. Um, got some hot hands. Um, I got batteries in here to, you know, to use for my uh, flashlight. Um, I have this, it's a dental protractor, but it's pointy, 
And um, if I needed a straight edge, I could use it as a straight edge. So that's why I have that. And then I have a whole bunch of um, little wet, <laughs> wet wipes. Like I said, I carry wet wipes, right? And then I have um, another pry bar in case I need one other pry bar. So that's what I have in this side. You can get, like I said, a 32 ounce nail pan in there. So you get a lot of stuff in here. Um, I just happened to transfer stuff out of my old bag into this bag. And uh, this is what I put in there. So. Yeah, you can get a lot of good stuff in there, and I like this bag, it's solid, it's made out of uh, nylon, I'm not sure what denier it is, 500,000, but um, you know, it's solid, and you can get a lot of stuff in here, and um, like I said, I got a ton of things in here, it's just, there you go, so, got all that stuff in there, and all those pockets, oh, and then again, actually I forgot, in the front of here, when you pull this out, there's another pocket. So there's like a really thin pocket, and in there I have a bunch of OTC meds. Um, and uh, I have them labeled because I've had a problem before of putting meds in here and not labeling them, not knowing what the F they are. So I got some ibuprofen 800 milligrams, I got Benadryl 100 milligrams, I got Tylenol 1000 milligrams, and I got motion sickness. My son gets motion sickness in the car. My wife has a reaction to certain things, so I have Benadryl. So it's all stuff that I need in case, uh, you know, Whatever. It's not like anaphylaxis. Yeah, it's just a reaction. And Benadryl, you take two tablets and hopefully you're fine. Um, she doesn't have an appy pen or anything, so otherwise I'd have that too. So that is what I got in this bag. This is what I carry every day in my EDC bag. EDC bags are tier two um, EDC. Uh, what you have on your person is tier one. What you have in your EDC bag is tier two, and what you have in your vehicle kit or go bag is tier three. So this is my tier two EDC. Shout out to Eric Waste of Beer Money. And this is for A if you wanted to know about this at EDC question mark. You guys have a good day.